Hi, I'm Captain Kevin Hill, and I'm the commander of the Float Training Group Atlantic. And Float Training Group Atlantic trains ships to complete the basic phase. We focus on unit level training. And the shipboard environment is our training space. And if you ask me how would I tie zone inspection to training, I could do it two ways. First of all, zone inspection is the key ingredient, prime mover to maintain a high material condition of your ship. Getting out in your spaces, assessing your ship, finding the problems, getting ahead of the problems before they get too big is the key to proper material management. And when it comes to training, first of all, to achieve training, your ship's got to work. We cannot train on your system if the gas turbine engines don't work, if the electric plant doesn't work, if your training systems don't work. So since we train on your ships, we train the watch teams, we train the individual sailors to operate their ship, the ship's got to be oper uh, operatable for that to happen. So that's the first key. The other aspect of, tr of training in material condition is we train at sea. And if your ship can't get underway or can't operate at sea fully, then you're losing the opportunity to train. So that's why at a float training group Atlantic, and especially in support of the Surface Force Readiness Manual, assessing the material condition of the ships is key to our ability to train the ship. But it really starts with a good zone inspection. We spend about a week on your ship in various areas assessing the material condition, but no one should walk on your ship in five days and know more about your ship than you do. And you know your ship by getting out and looking at your ship and a formal zone inspection allows you to do that, allows you to find the small problems and correct them before they get too big. And as long as you're doing that and you're staying ahead of the material problems, then your ship's in great shape for us to train on. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Warrant Officer 5, Living Dacus. I've been in the Navy for a little over 31 years now. I've been on several platforms, aircraft carriers, destroyers, uh, several shore commands. And currently I'm the, th the 3M officer at ATG Norfolk, going out and inspecting ships. And as part of that, one of the things we look at is the zone inspection program to make sure that the ship is ready to meet its mission. One of the things we find that uh, we're doing this thing called the CAV where we go in and we do a little mini zone inspection on ships and then we check to make sure it's in the CSMP. And what we're looking for is those missing limiting discrepancies. And if we don't see them on the CSMP then we have to let the captain know that you guys aren't doing zone inspection properly and you're not identifying discrepancies that could limit your mission on the ship. Uh, and you got to look at it with a critical eye and you know not just dirt, not just dust, but what is going to impact the ship's misting? Now, the dirt and dust is important, but you have to look at, you know, what does your ship do, and can it do it with that discrepancy? And if it can't, the answer is put it in CSMP, make sure it's written properly and screened properly, and that the proper people get in there and fix it for you so that you can meet the mission. And that includes outside spaces. It's not just inside spaces. So you've got to make sure that all of these things are taken care of, and that's why the zone inspection is so important, because that's when you can go out and you can identify it. So don't just think of it as th something that you have to do. It's every couple of weeks, you're out there doing it, and just check the box, do it right, and get it documented, get it fixed, meet the mission. Good afternoon, I'm Lieutenant Commander Kirk Sowers. I'm the engineering training head for Float Training Group Norfolk. Uh, my background, I've got about 25, a little over 25 years in the Navy, uh, both in aviation maintenance and shipboard maintenance. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you today is how do zone inspections correlate to uh, the basic phase and the safe to trains when it comes to engineering specifically. Uh, we find that when our trainers come on board, it takes oftentimes several hours to get safe to train. This is important. Uh, you're looking out for the safety of your training teams, your watch standards, and also the train teams that are on board to help. Um, this also flows into your certifications, your 1.1s and your 1.4s when it comes to MOB. E. So if you have an effective zone inspection program, it makes your safe to train um, easier, it takes less time, and you're able to get to the root of the engineering train that, that, they were to, that we're there to conduct, which is vital um, because that flows directly into those certification processes. You don't want to have engineering assessments on board and it take four, five, six hours to get safe to train, um, especially for certification. 
So this is how uh, zone inspections and an effective zone inspection also plays a part into that. One other point is, you know, you can walk by the same discrepancies every day and you, you eventually become blind to them. Um, it's just natural. So talk to your other department heads and have them get involved in your spaces. Have them go down and conduct a zone inspection in that space to see discrepancies that you don't see because you actually in reality see them every day. So I hope this helps. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Senior Chief Petty Officer Rivera. I'm stationed at ATG Norfolk. I've been in the Navy 16 years. Been on several ships. Been on oiler, aircraft carrier, amphibious ship, frigate, and then several other amphibious ships. Um, zone inspection is a very important program in our Navy, especially as in senior enlisted leaders. It's um, one of the ways that we maintain the ship. Um, we preserve um, our equipment as well and also preserve our spaces. It's also another way to show pride and that we have in our ship and how we continue to um, be the best Navy in the world. One of the things that we do at a float training group Norfolk is we go to ships and we inspect ships, um, inspect equipment, and a lot of things that we're finding wrong with the ships is due to um, the lack of paying attention to detail during the zone inspections. Um, some of the things that um, we're always seeing is lights are not, um, all the lights are not on in the space, which prevents you from seeing the dirt, prevents you from seeing the oil in the corner, prevents you from seeing many things. And um, another major problem that we're seeing in the fleet is dirty vents. If your vents are dirty, um, your equipment is not going to work the way it's supposed to work. Another thing that we're seeing in the fleet is watertight doors um, not being able to secure properly. This could be caused by the gasket, um, gasket being um, old and it's not needs to be replaced. It could also be about the, the, the dogs, the dogs not being properly aligned when they secure the space. Those were just a few examples that we see on board our Navy ships. The zone, inspe zone inspection program is very important and the better we get at um, conducting zone inspections, the better we will be as a team on the fleet.